Health, safety, security and environment is a required element to compete in the oil and gas industry in Guyana and globally. This is a concept many well-established and growing businesses in Guyana are adopting daily. The Center for Local Business Development offers a health, safety, security and environment management system mentorship program that helps local businesses to build their HSSE management system in order to improve their competitiveness. 25 local companies have completed this program this year. These are their stories. encouraged our workers or employees to get involved in something that was relatively new to them, thereby creating a new culture within our organization. We decided the mentorship program would be something that the company would be interested in, especially catapulting into the oil and gas industry and knowing the various requirements of that industry. Puran Brothers joined the HHSC Management System Mentorship Program because we consider it as a great opportunity to enhance our organization capacity. Recognizing that need for HSSC management system, uh, CAMSOL joined the program offered by the center to really um, get started because our company is new and um, we thought that it's, a, it's the best time to get started with the program, to get off the ground on a, on a, on a solid uh, structure. aha moment was a funny one for me because one morning I pushed my office door and, um, and the cleaner was fully decked out in PPE and for me that was like it was a warm because I mean I'm accustomed to seeing the guys in the yard in their construction gear in their um, PPE I'm used to seeing certain persons in their PPE but when I saw you know the cleaner in there and she had on her safety jacket she had on her safety boots. Uh, that was a real, it was, it was a big moment for me. <laughs> we were painting a, um, a ceiling for a client. We had an employee on top of the scaffold who was moving the scaffold board and lost control of it and it fell and injured an employee who was just about to ascend the scaffold. None of our employees who were there um, at the scene panicked and our brother's keeper's culture took over. They alerted me and before I could reach to the injured employee, two of our forest hitters were actually beside him, making sure that he was okay. I started noticing that our staff would use this employee voice uh, opportunity to help to encourage or highlight any safety issues they would have come upon or to just, you know, reiterate any safety practices that we should be doing. We are noticing that there's a better um, response, a better flow of information toward management so that we can take adequate decisions in order for us to deliver uh, um, safe and quality products. staff is now aware of slip and fall uh, um, um, possibilities so they would come to me and say hey Simba I think we need another non-slip mat here or um, we need um, a, a better quality non-slip mat um, in, in particular places in the kitchen because we had them before but they were just kind of scattered not strategically placed um, as this process has gone on we have gotten requests from them to, to kind of um, up our game in terms of the slip and fall um, possibilities in the kitchen. They have encouraged us to become better at keeping our workers safe, you know, not just in one department but all other departments. It has helped us to understand what is required when we have to make something as simple as a delivery or we are going to get involved in a technical job. You know exactly what is required, what is the right thing to do, what are the right things to do and how you need to do it, and how do you effectively complete that task safely. Our stakeholders recognize our engagement in HSSC as it opens opportunities for new businesses. Workers have developed the attitude showing that safety and health and security of the environment is very important, and it will prevent injury and accident and incidents occurring on the job. The 
The first step a business should take in its safety journey should be to assess where they are and where they need to be. There are many gaps along the way as it relates to how businesses, particularly local businesses, implement safety standards. And once you do that self-assessment or gap analysis, you're better able to determine what steps you need to implement going forward. I would say um, follow our occupational health and safety standard that we have, our local occupational health and safety standard, because that is where we all started from. The most important part of the journey is to truly believe um, in the health and safety. Um, if it's not genuine, then no amount of support or documentation will make the journey successful. Management should also take lead. We are Symmetry Brokerage and Logistics Services Incorporated. Eureka Medical Laboratory. Zico Group of Services. Purum Brothers Incorporated. Strategic Recruitment Solutions Inc. Ground Structures Engineering Consultants. Siege Eco Clean Services. Grand Coastal Hotel. GR Engineering Company. Gilles Fields and Stilby, Attorneys at Law. The Hormison Lodge. Grand Oil and Gas Support Services. Stilby's Industrial Solution. Chance Global. Sagacity. B and GS Civil Works. Queensway Security Service Incorporated. Pinnacle Business. Services Inc. Marine Traders Atlantic Inc. Arrow Oil Field Services Incorporated. Camsol. Metro Office and Computer Supply. IMEX Inc. Guyana Logistics and Support Services. And we have completed the HSSE Management System Mentorship Program. Mm -hmm.